Hi. <laughs> I feel like um, I'm at some sort of a meeting. Like, Hi, my name is Josie and I have breast cancer. <laughs> um, this is the start of a, a, a very weird journey for me. And at the moment, at the beginning of this journey, it's alright, it's quite, it's okay. I'm in a bubble of denial and nothing feels real. Um, I feel like the hardest part so far has been waiting for the biopsy results. Um, actually, no. The hardest part so far was getting the phone call from the hospital after my mammogram to say we need you in first thing in the morning and that that one night of terror um, of not knowing of expecting to go back and be told you've got a time limit um, but that's not what was told that's not what's happened um, I have a 15 millimeter a tumour. It's um, the, apparently the most common tumour, uh, the most common type of breast cancer. Um, it's obviously early stages. It's grade 2, which means that um, there's, a, there's a scale from 1 to 3 of how fast it grows. Um, mine's the middle one, not the slow one and not the aggressive one. It's the middle one. Um, I'm going to have a lumpectomy on Tuesday and they're going to take some of my uh, lymph nodes to find out whether any of the cancer cells have spread there um, and I'll get those results between Christmas and New Year. Um, oh, this is all just details and probably very boring to listen to but it's part of the journey and these are the sorts of things that I'm going to have to get used to, that I'm going to have to have in my life. Um, I'm going to have to have radiotherapy and um, I'm just starting to get a little bit nervous about that because I'm hearing some quite nasty horror stories. Um, but I'm still kind of in this little bubble of la 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 la. Um, and you know I'm I'm content there for for the moment. I've had some amazing, amazing, amazing support from people. Um, even people I I don't even know are, are messaging me and sending love and wishes to me and the family. And um, you know this isn't just something that's happening to me. This is something that's happening to everybody that knows me and cares about me and loves me it's happening to all of us you know I can say I've got cancer but you know my girls and my, my boys are saying you know mum's got cancer and my, my husband's saying my wife's got cancer and my friends are saying my friend's got cancer you know this is something that is impacting everybody in a different way and to know that all of those people are being supported by so many pe other people is just it's just amazing um, I think that I think the journey will twist and turn a lot um, but for those of you waiting for results for those of you scared of going to see the doctor or you know if anybody you know get seen to this bit here when you've got your results and before you start your treatment, it's doable. This bit's doable. You know, I'm not going to look at the rest of it yet. I'm not going to worry about what happens next week or the week after or the year after. Because, you know, the, I, this is enough to digest. But this, this bit, this bit's okay. I can do this bit. And I can do it better with... All the support and help that I've been, that's been poured at me. It's been just amazing. It's just stunning. I just feel so lucky to to have everybody on Team Josie. <laughs> You'll hear me say that a lot. Go Team Josie. So 
Oh. Okay, that's enough for now. And um, see you in the next one. Bye.